Hello hey guys, I'm Tony and I'm Chai. Welcome to our food talk. Yeah, but my niece is dirty. Sometimes I like, know. But this is like so How dare you? <laughs> How dare but, you invite me to your home? But I love it. Like you know, you just have that screw you. Right? I'm gonna do, do it. it. I'm gonna do it. Right? Exactly. And it's like when you're telling yourself you can't. Just personally it probably definitely goes hand in hand with my physical health I mean there is I can feel my mental health declining when there's like I get very stressed and I maybe I'm not able to like be active or go outside for long periods of time and stuff like that so mm -hmm. ends up just being something where you know you can isolate yourself a bit mm -hmm. but um I think that everyone has a different definition of what you know being happy and being like content looks like so yeah. hopefully I think the biggest thing is just making sure you have some sort of support system throughout different like periods of time in your life. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's it's it emotional, like how you cope with it. Like yeah, with the coping, coping skills yeah. for sure. Yeah, because yeah. I think I have that. <laughs> I mean, like what what well, you guys that call kind of each other support system, right? At certain times of oh, you know when you have stress. So bad. Like, like yeah, sometimes um, sometimes. Okay. Not, not that's the, the only way it's supposed to go, right? Like yeah. nobody can be like fully there the for time. you all mm -hmm. the time, and nobody nobody should be. That's a lot of responsibility on another individual, right? Like that's a lot to ask for, from somebody else, right? You can't you can't like you can't say hey, somebody you, you have to be here for all my sadness, for all my pain, for all my happiness. Like right. that's ridiculous. I definitely agree. I think when you start putting that in the hands of like other people around mm -hmm. you. Um, kind of probably just like stops the actual relationship you have with other people or at least just like diminishes it a lot so yeah I think uh, <laughs> I'm going through that phase you know because like when I was really young I was very outgoing mm -hmm. um, now I'm like super super shy really I super mean, shy uh, I did kind of close you know like that closed door mm -hmm. for everybody like I don't want it I'm like right now I don't like meeting new people <laughs> which this is like something how dare you <laughs> how dare but, you invite me to your home but i love it like you know you just have that moment where you're by yourself you know and you're like yeah. should i should i not you know but then after that when you overcome that emotional like whatever you find in your mind you're kind of like wow i did it and i love it you know and so that's something that we mentally like fighting every day um, in our life, you know? Like it cannot have to be just like smaller things. I mean big things, but little small things actually counts too. Like, so, Baby you know? steps all yeah, the time, for sure. Water. Especially for introverts, because I think, <laughs> I think of like, have you ever heard the term ambivert? It's like, no, both. you're kind of like introvert in some situations, extrovert in other situations, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, I think, I probably, <laughs> I think that's me. <laughs> I probably am, I feel like I'm like that a little bit because yeah. I can definitely be introverted in like new situations, but as soon as I get comfortable, I'm more extroverted. Yeah, so I'm like, the same way. Okay, yeah. like, that's, that's good to know because I think I'm like that too. Yeah. And like, you know, and also like meeting new people, it depends too. Like sometimes you just click with people, right? And you just like become extrovert. And some people you just don't click and you just become introvert. It's just like, I don't know where, where I'm going to go with this. You know what I mean? I've definitely so, had situations like that. Like, all the time. I think all of us are related to that. I honestly <laughs> think that that is like... Is that included? So, <clears throat> they say like every cell in your body vibrates mm -hmm. at a certain frequency. Yeah. And if you meet somebody who also vibrates at the same frequency, right? You feel like happy around them. You feel good around them. They uplift you, mm -hmm. etc. You have this like extroverted kind of personality around them because you feel at ease. Yeah. Right? They meet your standards. 
And then it's like, you meet somebody, like you said, you meet other people, you could meet somebody and they make you feel more introverted and you're like, mm, yeah. um, I, I don't know, actually. I don't know about this, right? It's I because like, at a cellular level, your mm -hmm. body is not al in alignment with them. Mm -hmm. I've had that happen where certain people that you hang out with, you kind of almost like, you almost kind of like feel a little bit down yeah. after mm -hmm. the interaction. Yeah. You kind of just like want to go into your shell. Yeah. yeah. Like stuck you just like, yeah. They just suck like all your energy. Well. But then others that they bring out that yeah. energy out yeah. of you and like, and you're, you're like the be best version of yourself. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. such a good way to gauge like who you should be surrounding yourself with because mm -hmm. it's true. I think like you're, you have like a bodily reaction to almost every situation, yeah. stress, yeah. but like, happiness, energy, all of that is really big. So sometimes if you just like take a step back and just listen to yourself um, and what you feel like, I think it's a really good gauge of, you know, yeah. what's right for you. That's good. Part of your body knows. Oh yeah, your body can feel. Oh yeah, this is true. I didn't like Tinkerbell. Oh, I did not like Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell, <laughs> <laughs> the Disney character. <laughs> what did not you meet her? Is that it? Halloween, I met her on Halloween, I didn't like her. I don't have physical health now. Different story. My body tells me that I need to go and go for a walk, whatever. It's been a long time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so guilty. You know, like your body tells you, you know, like, hey, you need to go for a walk. You mm -hmm. need to do this, at least for a walk. I'm so lazy, like, like, like I said, it, this also goes with uh, mental health too. Like, you know, when you have a mental health issues problem, you have a hard time going out there and then, you know, working on yourself, like exercise, just be out there. That's really, really hard. And so I feel like uh, when my body tells me, it's like, hey, let's go, I be dragging this. <laughs> I try to drag him. He is also facing the same thing. So it's so hard to for both of us, nowadays, especially like. Yeah, nowadays we just all we do is go to work and come home. Relax. Yeah. Relax. Yeah, we don't do no exercise. The thing. It's hard okay, to get out of way. Because, like, girl, like, what? you snatched. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> right? I mean, it's unfair. Some it's people unfair. Just lucky like that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what is the secret, to be honest. Because, like, I eat a lot. <laughs> You don't know don't, what the secret? Lies. I really don't. I eat a lot. Oh, I know what's the secret? Spicy food. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the spicy food. It's really? Yes. It's like, yeah, it's is there something true. that actually happens that like boosts your metabolism or something? Bro, I think it just like flushes your system real right. quick. Yeah, right? it's so spicy. Most most it's so spicy you quick. can't even absorb it. So it's just like gone. Yes. Gone. gone. Nice. And that's well, what, that's what happened. Yeah, I, I mean that's all the secret I can tell you. I don't know what's all the secret. <laughs> like I don't have any. But d d genetics does play a role in that. Absolutely. 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 Mm -hmm. well, but boundary. sometimes you can kind of work with your genetics to, mm -hmm. to not to beat it, but to work with genetics mm -hmm. to like maximize your potential. You know, mm -hmm. you just have to work a little harder <laughs> than somebody who's like really blessed mm -hmm. genetically. Yes. How about sleep, Eight. guys? Like sleep is really important. Oh, and I can tell. I'm not sure if you guys have had this, but when I don't get enough sleep for like a long, like several days, uh -huh. I actually feel like mentally I feel down. Like I feel more mm -hmm. like I don't want to say depressed, but you know, mm -hmm. it affects your well well being mentally. Yeah, and you active for that day too. Bro, um, I was telling mine, and I think I realized this when I got older too, right? <clears throat> like before, you could go like when I was in college, right? Like I went like. I don't know, several days where you like you just stay up, stay mm -hmm. through the night, whatever, push through it, right. have a coffee or the monster or the Red Bull or whatever was your choice of, you know, drug. Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> but but <clears throat> like then I I would, you know, just like somehow recuperate the sleep but in like a normal setting, right? Like like if I went three days and I slept like five hours every single day, yeah. the fourth day I would sleep like eight hours, be fine, whatever. Now, if I go like two days and I slept for like six hours both days, the next day I'm sleeping for like 12 hours, 13 hours. Like it's like, you can't, yeah, I get it. you can't like, you cannot wake me up at this point 
and I am in a coma. Yeah. And you're yeah. never really That's even catching up either, because I, I, I used to think that like if I did stay up really late one night, and then the next day I'm just like sleeping the whole day, like I was catching up on sleep basically, but. Then I think I read something where it's like, that's really not possible. Like, you yeah. cannot catch up on sleep like that. No. So, obviously, it will feel better when you're, you know, sleeping through the next day and stuff. Like, trying to get that rest. But your body's just, like, thrown out of whack, I feel, yeah. for sure, when you're, like, that sleep deprived. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, also, one thing I noticed, like, is there, like, a perfect hours call, like, perfect rest? You know what I mean? Like... If you go over, let's say, 13 hours of sleeping, the next day you still feel so tired. Mm -hmm. If yeah, you have like, is like over yeah, days. or like if you have five hours of sleeping or six hours of sleeping, you still feel tired. There yeah. is. So the statistic is for males, you can have seven to eight hours is good mm -hmm. for males. Mm -hmm. But women actually make more hormones and they need like more sleep. eight to ten hours actually wow. a night. That's very interesting. Yeah. Okay, I remember that. Man, <laughs> seven to eight hours. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> he go beyond. <laughs> That's why. I mean, it depends too on like how yeah. physically active you are too. I think that depends, right? Like, mm -hmm. how much do you actually do in a day? Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, that that should be like commensurate with how how many hours you actually sleep. But sometimes too, like women are in their cycles, right? You have you have your monthly cycles, yeah. and you need different things during the cycle, like. You should exercise differently during different times of your cycle. You should mm -hmm. also eat differently during different times of your cycle. And you should sleep more or less depending on when, where you are in your cycle too, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, if I could get eight hours a night, I'd be so happy. Dude, if I could, I'm still working on it. If I could get eight mm -hmm. and a half hours, I think I would be really happy. Like actually, before, actually nine. Before, nine mine used to be like seven, I lit, like a, a a year and a half ago, two years ago, it was seven and a half hours because I like I basically took metrics and I was like, oh, I feel really good at seven and a half hours, right? right. So I was like, yeah, that's like that was like the solid time span for me. But then lately, like I actually picked up exercising more, so I started like strength training four to six times a week, basically. Mm -hmm. And then I realized like I need like eight and a half sometimes nine hours and also depending like if I skipped days again like if I didn't get the eight hours of sleep like you know or minimum seven and a half hours yeah. of sleep for me the next day I'm like I can sleep for like 12 hours I really could I love sleeping talking about sleeping if sleeping was a job I would love <laughs> oh I'll be so good at my job <laughs> right. what do you think like for me right on certain nights, I can't go sleep at all. I could stay up all night. Same. See, oh, I think the actually- The longest I ever stay up is like three days straight. Why, why would three you do days that straight? Yourself? No help. I would like no. not be functioning properly. I probably had coffee and energy drink, that's about it. Like as an experiment or just like- No, I couldn't sleep. Oh my gosh. Three days. Yeah. But why did you need the energy drink? To stay up. <laughs> so like during, during the day, day, right? During, during the, day, the day, yeah. yeah. Oh, but during the night. During the night, I can't Just sleep either. Yeah. At what, what time was this? Like in your uh, life, like what was happening in your life? I say last year. So what last happened year, last year? Uh, a lot of things like, happened. A lot of things go, go like through stress. my mind. Stress. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever tried like journaling? Journaling? What yeah. Is like Writing. you just like write down your thoughts and your feelings. Oh uh, no. No. <laughs> or like reading still, before bed? Yeah, or reading helps. before bed. People say like if you read, could like fall asleep within 10 minutes or something like that. Yeah. I haven't yeah. tried that, but my coworker, they recommended uh, melatonin. Uh-uh, don't do it. Don't I took that it. for two days, and it made me more tired in the daytime. Yeah, yeah it's kind of drowsy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. At least for me it was too, yeah. I did try it too. It was 11 p.m. Right. I woke up the next day at 12 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I could. It worked. <laughs> it worked. It did, but it makes you like you said. It was drowsy, so I yeah. couldn't like. It was hard for me to uh, stay awake. How well? Tony, have you tried Unisom? No. It's a sleep aid. It actually works better. Mm -hmm. So I actually want to address the fact too. Like for me, if I'm not physical, if I'm not physical every single day, mm -hmm. I'm physically active every single day, and like 
emotionally active and by that I mean like I have some type of emotional connection with somebody like I've had a conversation or like I'm out in person with somebody and or if like I don't I don't have any like mental stimulation in the sense like I'm not like I'm learning something like I like to learn things so if I don't have those three things mm -hmm. I find that I stay up at night mm -hmm. like it doesn't feel like a fulfilled day so yeah. that my body is like restless right and then it'll just be like you like I, I end up like I'm really good about like I put my phone on do not disturb in like airplane mode mm -hmm. when I go to sleep but like sometimes I just I'm like you know I'm in the bed and I'm just like I really can't fall asleep and I find like just look at the ceiling yeah I just like look at the ceiling like I mean I have like brown noise too that plays in the background to yeah. try and help me sleep but like again if it's one of those days where I didn't get all three of those things it's because I didn't get all three of those things mm -hmm. in my mind. Yeah. I do think if you're a super like goal oriented person, which like coming to get to know her, she very much is. So it makes sense, I think, when like you have goals, things yeah. you want to get done and you haven't, basically, that it could definitely just like stay on your mind. But I think there's lots of different techniques you can try before going on like some sort of medication for sleep. I mean, some people, like insomnia is a real thing. I mm -hmm. definitely don't want to like not validate that um but yeah again like there's breathing exercises i used to, i took like a course when i was actually still in school on um this like sky meditation so it was it's really nice to be able to like learn certain breathing exercises that like immediately um like lessen anxiety um so that sort of thing but yeah definitely like reading or doing something that kind of just like calms down your system I am like a super big proponent of journaling for sure. Like I probably do several times a week at least. Mm -hmm. It just like puts your thoughts onto paper, yeah. like something that's just like tangible. And I feel like it just helps me come to terms with things that are like going on in my life. So I I love that. I know for men it can feel a little bit different, different to <laughs> journal and maybe not as like manly yeah. and stuff, but I think it's probably like one of the best things of like self care that you can yeah. do for yourself. How about like meditation to try? Meditation. Yeah. I haven't tried it. I know that whatever. I, think, I don't think it's gonna work for me. That's the problem. No, no I just it's not going. But that's yeah, the thing that like you can't sit there and say I don't think it's gonna work, right? Yeah, like subconsciously you're already sure. telling yourself yeah. it's not gonna work. Your body's gonna believe it, right? Mm -hmm. Because like you, whatever you tell your brain, your body believes. Like mm -hmm. you, you, mm -hmm. your brain will believe it. Yeah, like so you true. can't be like you can't you can't like if you're trying to get healthy and fit you can't be like I can't get healthy and fit man you're never gonna get healthy and fit right because you've already convinced yourself before you trying yourself. to do yeah. it That's that true. like yeah. you can't do it so I definitely would say like don't do the negative talk right that's not beneficial at all oh. because right. like truly statistically speaking there's your brain cannot tell the difference between what it actually feels and reality like if you truly believe in something that is reality for your brain mm -hmm. so you can't be like oh man i i don't think it's gonna work right or like you know if somebody's like i just don't like mac and cheese and like their whole life never had mac and cheese right because mm -hmm. they they're, they've already convinced themselves they just don't like mac and cheese yeah. um and just like just doesn't your brain already is like gonna tell you like no before before you even try it before you, before you even look on the menu and you like see mac and cheese like nah I can't do it. <laughs> I can't have a, a trick for the That's meditation true. like if you guys can't like get it to work at least it works for me. It's like if you visualize you know how you like, close your tabs on your phone, especially like on an iPhone like you close the tab mm, like yeah. one by one. So if you like picture your like your different dots right. And you close them like one by one. Like I'm, I was thinking about this, I'm gonna close that. I was thinking about that thing, I'm gonna close that too. Ooh. Minimize all those tabs mm -hmm. until you feel like you're like empty. You're not really actively thinking of anything, and you're kind of in that like empty space where you're not thinking anything. And that's when you really are meditating. Ooh, and I that usually like puts that. you to sleep. I really like, I that. like that. closing your tabs. Oh, really, really works. Also, a, a good like first step is instead of maybe diving into like. A meditation where you're gonna sit and there's like nothing happening no voices and you're just trying to like quiet your mind try like a guided meditation instead mm -hmm. like 
um, there's a podcast that's literally just the daily medica- meditation podcast. Like mm-hmm. every morning posts like a 10 minute meditation mm-hmm. but it's like more of a guided meditation so a woman is kind of speaking to you it's very calm there's still like background background like music and she's kind of you know there's yeah. a different topic every week but maybe it's like discipline or focus or something she's just talking about it and honestly just listening to that can kind of like take the yeah. other thoughts out of your head because i i still am not really at the point where i can just listen like it just be dead noise in me mm-hmm. trying to meditate. I'll probably be thinking about like a ton of a lot other of things, things yeah. too. So it's common. I feel like yeah. like the more you do it, mm-hmm. the easier it gets. I'm gonna try this like <laughs> closing the tabs thing, but guided yeah. meditations are good, and you can yeah. find those anywhere. Okay, so now we have a little game for our guests, and this game is called Can You Guess Your Veggies and Fruits. So right here we have all the fruits that I blended up, and. We're going to give you guys a taste test to see if you can guess it. Do you okay. have any prizes for winning? For <laughs> We have... <laughs> An iPad! The rest of the, the fruit. <laughs> <laughs> just drink it. <laughs> some of the cups is just one thing, but some of them are like multiple fruits, Yeah, we're going to so. go from easiest to yeah. the hardest. Ooh, I'm excited. Oh, yeah. And the okay. hardest one has three uh, ingredients in it. Okay. Uh, okay, let's start with this one. <laughs> okay, this is. I think this is kind of hard. Ooh, I like a oh. challenge. Okay. Let's see if you can guess it. One, okay. two, three. Yeah, How am I gonna do this at once? Oh. Mm. Ew! It's red cabbage, reddish. What? It's red cabbage. It's, um, or oh. radish. Oh, wait. Why is it um, bitter? No, yeah, that's radish. It's radish. Either that or wait, no, 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 is it? Yeah, yeah, that's where I know that. Is it reddish? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. that's no. nasty. Honestly, I don't know what it is. Wait, when I first I just, read it, I, I just only read them. halfway and I thought it said raspberry, and I was like, oh, that's gonna taste good. <laughs> but they're all like, oh, I taste terrible. <laughs> this, dude, thank you for giving me a whole taste. spoon. No, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> It's very sour and it's got like applesauce texture. I never would have guessed. 
Me either. Are you guys ready for the next one? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Pretty amazing. She got so far. You got celery. All three right. How many ingredients is it? This is oh, definitely celery. 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 You what? cannot miss the <laughs> celery <laughs> smell. Celery. Everyone. You really like blended a lot for this yep. stuff. <laughs> I feel bad. You're gonna like waste a lot. All of this. So, so it's not gonna be enough. If you're a fruits or veggies oh, lover, this, you will love this. This is two ingredients. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Two ingredients. It's getting harder. Okay, it's getting this harder. Is, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, ready? Mmm. This is banana and oh, I said banana and peach again. Is that your answer? Yeah. Oh. Oops. Mm -hmm. Try that again. Oh, this way. I feel good. I have another taste. Me too. I also want another taste. <laughs> very unsure. I know there's banana. Yeah, definitely banana. But the second one is kind of like. Like there's definitely green. banana in there for sure. Like spinach okay. or oh, kale. Sorry. <laughs> all over it. <laughs> oh, goodness. I think it's like banana and spinach, maybe? Or banana and arugula? Arugula? <laughs> or I said peach. I think the reason why I said peach because the texture. I think I still have some celery in my mouth. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Should we get you guys some water to like wash um, out your palate? I think I have my. I think I actually might. I I think I agree with Chai. I think it is the banana and the peach together. Mm -hmm. Just this is texture. What about Alex? I think it's banana and something green. <laughs> and I can't quite taste it. Let's just say spinach. Spinach. Oh. Alex got it wrong. Oh, <laughs> uh, you guys got it right? Yeah. China. You guys got it right. That's crazy. Chai and Ellie got it right. Yes. yes. All right. <clears throat> well, this is the last one. No iPad for you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, we were still playing. It, okay. <laughs> this is the last one. Like this one, the winners take all. <laughs> this looks oh, so gross. Okay. Oh no. Oh, don't tell Why us that. that. I know. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I told you, I was talking. Okay. Mm -hmm. Banana, celery, and peach. Oh. <laughs> you guys are really on a peach kick now. It has that. What was the first one we guessed earlier? Banana. I like this one. It tastes really banana. good. Yeah, yeah, actually, this one does taste really good. Not oh, celery. celery. <laughs> yeah, I think it's. <laughs> How many ingredients does this have? This has three. three. Banana is definitely in there. Yeah, banana is in there, definitely celery, and I think also peach, peach is in there. It's also in there. Yeah. I agree with that. The last one is where. You guys right. have got the first two, right? Should we give them, tell them which ones are right and let them guess the third one? The third uh, one is. Um, you, sure. You got the banana right and the peach right. And there's one more. That's It's not celery? Wow. Oh, cucumber. Cucumber. <gasps> yes. Cucumber. Oh, I didn't think of that. <laughs> is we that should, your final answer? Yeah, that's my final answer. Why don't you guys un take off the blindfolds and look? Three, two, one. Really? Oh! oh wow! Solid! Nice! That, that tastes very so impressive. Good. I love, I love cucumber. <laughs> I also I have that every that morning. Smoothie. Yeah. That was very impressive. I don't know if you like it. Like avocado. it. <laughs> what was it? Is it not cucumber? It is cucumber. Oh, it's cucumber. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video and thank you uh, Alex, um, right, Ellie, I, and Minor for joining us for today's episode. And we had a great time. Right. Yeah, so did we. Thanks thank you. Yeah, thanks yeah. for having yeah. us. It, it was yeah. our honor to have you guys. <laughs> thank you. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, like, other comment, and subscribe. So other than that, we will see you guys on the next episode. Bye. Bye.